Hi friends and subscribers, a warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here bringing you this video tonight from Jerusalem in Israel. And folks who have been sticking with this YouTube channel for a long time will remember the different evolutions. Um, I actually started off putting videos on YouTube because I would run into these technical issues on my computer. I run Ubuntu Linux, which tends to have a strong habit of breaking down. And uh, I used to just upload these kind of fixes for my own later reference because I forget how I fix some bug on my computer. And that began my YouTube journey. Um, this channel has at times had videos about technology, um, a whole bunch of other subjects. And I think I decided a year ago that I was gonna focus on Israel. So those tech videos for people still interested in uh, my tech interests, which include random things like optical media, uh, internet, cellular internet, uh, failover and connection bonding, and uh, using audio video equipment in Linux. Uh, please feel free to follow on Daniel's Tech World. But today there is a, a rare moment of uh, a dovetailing between uh, the, the content here about Israel and tech because I was, I was looking at the news today and I came across this photograph. And uh, the way you can tell that I'm a tech, uh, that I'm a gearhead, and I think a lot of people probably are in this category, is when you see photos of uh, heads of state in the media uh, and you see a microphone, you get wondering, well, what microphone is he using? I'm, I'm, I'm seeing photos of bands now and seeing the same thing, although for bands, it's usually it's a bit smaller variety. But this is um, Benjamin Net Netanyahu yesterday uh, gave a, a press conference and this photo appeared in uh, you know a few of the of the news websites here and uh, it's a very distinctive microphone and I immediately knew what it was but I'm going to leave that in suspense for a few minutes while we talk about the presidential uh, microphones so um, just just to say actually a quick note on um, maybe more significant of more 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 widespread interest um, Netanyahu has been criticized for not giving enough press conferences to Israeli media versus international media and specifically to less friendly domestic media. There is a uh, channel here in Israel called TV14 and um, it's kind of viewed as almost like a mouthpiece of Netanyahu. So this was quite significant that he did it. Um, but I also noticed, hey, I think they're going for a new microphone setup. I haven't seen this double setup before, which is very classic for US presidents to use. And that is the clue that I'm dropping as to what the microphone is. Before we go into that, here is another picture from yesterday where we can see uh, the prime minister with his uh, mystery microphones and uh, two uh, cabinet ministers with um, different microphones. They look to me like Shure SM58s just because Shure SM58s are everywhere and anywhere. And I hope people don't boycott Sure or add Sure to a BDS list because of this video on the rare chance. If they do, I think Sure will be okay. And uh, the only people who would be hurt by the decision to boycott Sure would be people, uh, content creators, because they're such an amazing uh, manufacturer of microphones. So this is the setup that BB was using. And as I said, it's very classic for those who follow which microphones presidents use. And uh, we will reveal the name shortly. Uh, but this is what it looks like um, closer up. All right, enough of the enough of the suspense. This is it. It's the Shure SM57, and uh, you can actually buy this yourself. You can buy the classic presidential kit. The one, the microphone that BB has started using is the same classic microphone kit that the US has been using since the Johnson administration. I learned today, according to the information on Shure's website. And it's pretty well known, um, there's been a few YouTube videos about it, that it's a Shure SM57 and it is specifically two of them. And uh, they have the whole kit if you really want to get kit kitted out for 750 bucks. Or you can just buy the rather nice looking double microphone stand. Its product part is VIP 55SM. Uh, this is the replica of what Shure supply to the White House and apparently also to Israel. Um, a dual mount kit, it'll fit two SM57s and it's available for $281. It's got a little, uh, looks like a standard microphone head fitting at the bottom there. All right, continuing. So you can see this is uh, why the Shure SM57 has become famous as the US presidential microphone. This is obviously pre former President Obama um, speaking into the SM57, uh, the two SM57s, I should say, 
And if I go back to that shot of BB from the news today, you'll recognize that the microphone is the same. It's uh, got a quite sleek appearance and it's got, and that's apparently I found an FAQ on the Shure website. For people who know the Shure microphones, you'd think the SM58 would be a more logical choice because it's more primed for vocals and the SM57 is more primed for recording instruments. Um, and the reason why the US have gone for the SM57 since the Johnson administration through to the present Biden administration has to do apparently just with it's a sleeker looking microphone. It's just a little bit, the body's a little bit slimmer. Um, sometimes the SM57 doesn't look like a SM57 and that's because they put a big windscreen on it. And um, as I said, this is all quite famous, the specific parts. And uh, this is actually it. It's the A81WS. And you can buy this yourself for $42 from Sure. And I had a picture from Joe Biden. Here we go. This is Biden. And it's actually interesting how a different windscreen can make it look like an entirely different microphone. Uh, but this is not it's, not, it's no different than the one Obama was using here. It's the same Shure SM57, just with a bigger windscreen that makes it look a bit bulkier. Uh, so that's the answer. Uh, Israel is following the US example, as it frequently does, and is using the Shure SM57. Um, the final question you might be wondering as well, uh, this is from, I pulled this out of the Shure database here. I've noticed that when the US president speaks, he uses two SM57s with windscreens. Why two? Are they mixed together? Is there any kind of phase problem? And uh, the answer is basically redundancy. Um, as they say here, uh, are they mixed together? No, there's no phase problem because they're not used together uh, and we can go on. But basically uh, they use two microphones, both microphones. I mean, I've never seen a Shure microphone die spontaneously. Like it was just kind of at an event. They're just, they're known, they're famous for being workhorses. There's videos of people driving over Sure, as driving tour buses over SM57s and SM58s. So it's prodigiously unlikely, but when you're having these very high stake media events like the Prime Minister speaking, uh, they want to go for something that they just know is not going to uh, fail. Um, apparently, all the guys doing the sound, I'm kind of just going off on random geeky tangents here. Apparently, all the people doing the sounds, the, the sound mixing for US presidents are former military. Um, and that's why they go for the SM57 as well, as they, they say that they can get it anywhere in the world um, and it just gives decent sound. So that is the mystery for today that the uh, Israeli president, Benjamin Netanyahu, is going for the same, the classic uh, dual SM57 look. And if you have $750 in your bank account, and want to get the same look and feel from your next uh, public speaking occasion, you can go ahead and uh, get yourself the SM57. And just to conclude the video, we might be wondering, well, we've heard about what BB's using. We've heard about what the US president is using. What is our favorite YouTuber using? I'm just kidding. But I will tell you what this is. It is the Audio-Technica AT2020. It's been my microphone now for a couple of years. I've been playing around recently with the uh, Shure... Uh, not the sure the Samson 2QU, but I went back to using this because I like it and I got this little custom. You can see how microphones begin to look more impressive with big windshields. This is the AT2020 and this is my little Daniel Rosal video windshield that I purchased on uh, the wonderful website called AliExpress uh, probably a year ago and just got around to putting on recently and it does add a little bit of plosive protection to my audio. That's it for today's very random video. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you want to get more videos from me about stuff to do with life in Israel and Jerusalem, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.